Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today, let's take a look at the settings for Land Rover here map navigation. The quick access tile is displayed on the left side of the first navigation screen. Tap help topics to learn how to use the navigation system features. This includes things like setting destinations, live traffic and profiles. If you are watching our Land Rover Guidebook channel, you do not need to learn this because it will be easier to understand on our channel. So by activating the checkbox at the top of the screen, help topics are no longer visible on the start screen. If you wanted to see the help topics again on the start screen, tap the settings icon at the bottom of the navigation screen and go to navigation settings. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom of the navigation settings screen, you will see the help topics settings. Tap help topics and disable the checkbox at the top of the screen. The help topics tile will then appear on the navigation start screen. Next is the petrol station nearby tile. Tap to get a list and map of gas stations around your vehicle. Tap on the arrow, shaped category at the top of the screen and view the lowest price from your vehicle. In the same way, you can see the nearest order from your vehicle. Finally, you can see both the price and distance from the vehicle in the order you included them in the condition. Scroll down the scroll bar on the left side of the tile to find My Commute Settings tile. When you turn on My Commute Settings, you will see a screen like this, which will guide you to the best route in the future. Activate My Commute Settings and they will disappear from the navigation start screen. My Commute Settings are also available in the Navigation Settings. If you disable the checkbox for My Commute in Navigation Settings, the My Commute tile will appear on the Navigation Start screen again. You can also set My Commute from the Your Destinations menu in the Navigation menu. Now let's do a place search. You can do this from the search bar at the top of the navigation menu screen, or from the search menu at the bottom. Let's search for Seoul Station. After entering a search word, press the Enter key to display the search result after a while. If you press the place on the search result list to see if it is correct, the route preview screen will appear. Tap a place on the left screen to see more detailed place information. Tap the edit icon on the top left of the screen to switch to the route editor screen. The return path is added by activating the checkbox of the return journey in the upper right of the route editor screen. If you do not need a return path, you can disable it by clicking the checkbox again. Tap add waypoint at the bottom left to add a route from one of these four categories. Adding and editing paths will be covered in detail in the next video. Pressing the show route on the bottom right will bring up the route options screen. You can select one of several route options on the left screen. Depending on the route option selected, the route on the map on the right is also colored. The exclamation point icon next to a route is route information. Notify you of any events on your route, such as toll roads. There is a route preferences at the bottom left of the screen. Tap Route Preferences to set motorways, toll road, tunnels and more. If you disable the toll road and go back to the previous screen, the exclamation point next to the route disappears, indicating that there are no more events such as the toll road. The menu on the left side of the route preview screen contains a phone icon. If the phone icon is activated in white, you can press to make a call. This phone is used through a smartphone that is connected in advance via Bluetooth. Tap the parking icon to search for parking near your destination. You can scroll down to see more parking lots. By tapping the arrow-shaped category at the top of the left screen, you can select the parking lots that are available for parking near you. In the same way, you can see the nearest parking lots in order. When you tap the favorite icon, a yellow star appears next to the place and saves it as a favorite. 
You can edit the favorite by tapping the icon that has been replaced by edit favorite in the same place. You can change the icon of your favorite place like this. The name of the favorite place can be edited like this. You can also delete your favorite by pressing delete at the bottom of the screen. The star next to the place has disappeared and the favorites icon has been reset. The bottom share place icon will be covered in more detail in the video about here map account. Next, let's learn about navigation settings. Tap settings at the bottom of the navigation screen and tap navigation settings. Edit profile will be covered in the next video on here map account. Let's start with the connected features. The connected feature settings determine which features to use via an internet connection. We recommend that you enable most settings for smooth navigation. If you are using a roaming SIM card, enable mobile data settings for roaming. The related items and content are all the same. Here are the map features under the map view item. When you tap a place the types of places are listed like this. You can set the types of places you want to see or not see on the map. There are places like favorites, airports, banks, restaurants, hospitals, parking lots and gas stations. You can also have your landmarks displayed on the map and show live traffic on the road. If you enable the auto zoom below, the map will automatically zoom in and out according to the speed of the vehicle. The following are the route options at the bottom of the navigation item. You might remember what we saw earlier on the route preview screen. It can also be set in the navigation settings. Here is alerts. If you enable the alert setting, the screen and alert sound will inform you of the items here. Here is my commute of advanced item. You can also make settings here as seen in the tile on the left side of the navigation start screen. Keyboard layouts allows you to set different languages when you enter a location or address while using the navigation. In addition to English, you can choose from a variety of other languages. The following is the manage profile data. Here you can delete all of your accumulated search history at once. You can also delete all profile data. Deleting all of your profile data here won't affect the data stored in your HerMap account. To manage your HerMap account, please go to the web address below. Next is the show Kibla on Compass. When enabled, Kibla will appear on the compass in navigation. Here is the app details under the About item. The name, version, activation date, and map update date of the navigation application are displayed. If you scroll down, you can see various things related. Next is the help topics. This is the first thing we saw on the navigation start screen. Next up is installed maps and updates. If you enable auto check for updates, you will be notified on the navigation start screen when new updates are available. You can also check for new updates immediately by clicking check for updates below. You can check the current map version and update date in the installed maps below. You can also tap to see related content. Finally, you can read about the various aspects of licenses in the connected services license. So far, we have learned about the various settings of here map navigation. In the next video, we'll show you how to edit and add a route. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.